All right, so since I last saw you, uh, what I have done is I've created another MIDI track and I've added a little hi-hat sound that I created from scratch. Uh, and when I show you the track, you'll see there's a whole lot of stuff going on in terms of the devices. Uh, but I just built this from scratch. It wasn't difficult to do at all. We just talked about the ability to add uh, additional macro knobs. Uh, and what I did is I wanted to create kind of a hi-hat type sound out of white noise. So I used operator. Uh, if we go here, we can see I have some white noise here with a very short uh, decay time. So it sounds a bit more like a hi-hat. Uh, I wanted to use an arpeggiator to make it so that I can make this repeat at different rates uh, and easily change those rates on the fly. So from there, I grouped the arpeggiator so that it could become a MIDI effect rack. All right, if you're not familiar, when you add a device, if you right click on it and select group, it'll put that device inside of the appropriate rack. This is a MIDI effect, so now it's inside of a MIDI rack. From there, I wanted to make sure that I could use macro knobs to control not only specific things about my arpeggiator, but also specific things about the operator instrument itself. So what did I do? I selected operator, held shift, select my MIDI effect rack, and then I grouped both of those together. And now I have this big, huge, crazy uh, instrument rack where I can easily change not only the settings for my arpeggiator, but also uh, the settings for the sound of my hi-hat. So let me play this all together just so you can hear what's going on, because the main reason I did this is to show how we can use macro variations and save snapshots of all these different macro knobs. All right. So first off, let's just hear what's going on now. So my little noise hat, noise hat is over here and I can adjust the decay very easily. Adjust the attack, make it more like a shaker. I have my synced rate over here. If I decide to use this on something melodic, I have my transpose uh, modes over here. I can turn the sync rate off. And if I want to do some modulation, I can even turn up oscillator B, which in this case isn't really doing a whole lot, but it's mainly because A is just white noise. So the point is I have a lot of variation I can do here. We already saw the beauty of hitting this random button and how we can randomize everything, but that can be a bit chaotic if we can't get back to square one. So what I'd like to do here uh, with both of these tracks is create some macro variations. If we go to the left side of our rack here, I can click on this button, looks like a camera, and then it says macro variations. If I hit the new button, it'll save the current state of all of my macro knobs, which is super helpful. So I think this is a good place to be right now. Let's see, let's reduce the decay. All right, so this would be like a closed hi-hat at 16th notes. I hit new, there's my variation. I'm going to rename this 16th closed. Cool. All right. Now, once I change things, you'll notice there'll be a little asterisk here letting me know that the settings are not the same as they were in that snapshot. All right. So this would be an open hi-hat, new, new variation, right click, rename 16th. Oops. Open. All right. Let's go ahead and do a few other variations here. I'm gonna do six uh, eighth note triplets, and maybe we'll go with less decay, but a bit more attack. So it feels a bit sh more like a shaker. New and eighth T, oops, I hit the wrong button. I need to rename this first, there we go. <laughs> eighth T uh, open. Okay, so I got a few different snapshots here. So now if I press play again, I can jump between these very easily. And obviously if I don't feel like setting these all myself, I can always just hit random. See what shows up. When I find one I like, I could save that. I don't even know what to call this. We'll just leave that there. Another nice feature too, while you're playing around with this randomized feature, don't forget that if you right click on the macro knob, you can actually exclude that from the macro randomizations or from the variations, right? The variations are what we're doing over here. The randomizations uh, are what happened when you hit that rand button on top, all right? But for now, this is fine. I don't mind the happy accidents. I think it's kind of cool. Let me unsolo this and let's go to the drum loop. Now this gave me a lot of different results because with the loop macros here, if we create tiny loops, we get something that sounds much more like tones as opposed to a percussive sound. And I think it's cool, but I don't want to be stuck there. So let's open up our camera. 
let me play the regular drums first. All right, it's a good place to start. So let me new. And I won't bother naming these. I think you understand what's going on here. Let's do a shorter version here where the decay is really short. New. And let's see, let's do something where, play with the delay setting here and maybe create. Okay, so now the samples are starting halfway in. That can be an interesting variation. And now I'm just gonna say, let's just get some random ones. That's wild, new, random. It's a bit too wild. Ooh, I like that, that's cool. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now we can easily switch between those. Probably be good to have one where the drums are more open. There we go. So. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. So now there's a lot of variation that can happen pretty freely. Uh, one really nice thing about the macro variations is that they can be MIDI maps. But one very curious thing that I've noticed is that you can't actually use a clip envelope to switch between the macro variations, which was kind of a bummer when I found that out. Thankfully, I'm not to be swayed or thwarted. I found some interesting ways to work around that, and it's pretty cool that we can record the output of MIDI devices. It's even cooler that we can utilize Ableton Live's take functionality to comp the output uh, from MIDI devices. You'll see what I mean in the next video.